Hello, welcome everybody. I was recently at the thrift shop and they had just a bunch of magazines. At this particular shop, you can get magazines for a whole whopping 10 cents. I looked through and I found this one. I thought it just had some great pictures in there that I might be able to use. So I want to share some ideas with you of things that you can do with magazines. It's just, it's inexpensive. Lots of us have magazines right around the house. So let's get going and see some things that we can do. One thing in particular about magazines, I love pictures in magazines, but I don't always love the glossiness. See that shine right there? I don't want that in my books or in my things always. And so I want to do things to take away that, that shininess, if you will. This is a page that I pulled out from this magazine in particular. I love this flower here. It's just got a beautiful feel to it, something that I would like to use. But I don't like the gloss that it has on there. So I wanna show you a technique that you can use to get rid of that gloss. Now, I have showed one before. I'll put a link to that. It's where you use a particular product you can get at the Dollar Tree. This is something that's more accessible to everyone. So let's go ahead and get going and I'll show you how you do this technique. So what we'll be using today is some sandpaper. So this is a fine sandpaper with a, just a nice soft, not soft, but it's, it's just got a texture to it that's a fine grid. So it's not gonna rip things up. What you wanna do is take your sandpaper and just lightly go over your picture. It's gonna kind of rough up the surface a little bit. So it'll, it'll start automatically taking a little bit away of that shininess, but it'll also leave some scratch marks on there. They're just what lends to a distressed feel to it. I actually like that feel. You might not like it. I like it though, so it works out well for me. The next thing that you want to do, grab um, some neutral paint. I'm going to use this one right here. This is just an apple barrel one, and it's a creamy color. Antique parchment is what they call it. So go ahead and lay a little bit down on your surface. And then I'm gonna make it more of a wash. I'm gonna add water to it. So I'm gonna lighten it up. And then I'm gonna be painting that over, not over the surface of my picture here. So I want it light because I wanna be able to see through it. Let's see how that looks. So I'm going to actually do this and then I'm going to go over it with just my finger. Wipe it and move it around. So you can go a little darker color if you want. You can stay with this lighter tone. I can actually go in these lighter areas and just kind of add just a little bit more. Just create that an additional look to the image if you will. So another thing if you don't want to use your fingers you could try using like a, a credit card something like that. I've kind of rearranged some of my things right here so <laughs> to be honest it wasn't readily available to me. Didn't know where it was. So now you can see the difference between these two. See how this one right here just picks up all the gloss and this one it, there's still some gloss to it, but it's not the same. It's not the same intensity of it. So you have a nice muted feel here, and so it makes for a nice piece. So I'm going to go ahead and just work on that piece right now and create something with it. hope you like this little tip and uh, go ahead and put a comment below if you liked it 
give me a thumbs up and tune in next time for another fun little thing that you can do with your books and your crafts. Have a great day, everybody, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.